47-year-old businessman Thaddeus Zixoka will spend another two weeks at Luzila Prison before his bail application is heard. Zixoka had applied for bail through his lawyer, Fred Erisata, only for prosecution to ask for a two weeks adjournment. Led by Kintho Patricia, prosecution asked for a fortnight for a comprehensive study of bail application documents. Presiding Principal Grade 1 Magistrate Robert Mkanza has set 18th April 2019 for bail application hearing. Zixoka is charged alongside South Sudanese self-proclaimed young tycoon Lawrence Luar Yol Malong and Mike Lota, a Congolese national. They are accused of conspiring to defraud South African nationals of 1.9 million US dollars to sell them gold. Thaddeus Zixoka's lawyer, Fred Erisata, produced three sureties to secure his client's release, but prosecution requested two weeks to study bail application documents. Malong requested for his phone to enable him to communicate back home in South Sudan about his predicament. He claimed he couldn't secure a lawyer without a phone, a request he was asked to present in writing. Uh, my name is Lawrence Walmolongyor, uh, Lawrence Walmolongyor Jr., a.k.a. Young Tycoon. Malong, a businessman, is also a socialite known for posting photographs of him lying on the bed full of dollars. He was first arrested by the internal security organization operatives in Uganda in November 2018. This was in regard to investigations that linked him to gold scams in which several foreigners had lost billions of shillings. They only look at my weakness part of mine, that Laurel Almolongor Jr. like to show off his wealthy and in social media and all these things. You know, why only you look at my weakness part? He and co-accused were first arraigned before the Magistrates Court at Uganda Road, presided over by Miss Joan Katie Acher in late March. They were read charges of obtaining money by false pretense, which they denied and remanded till 4th April 2019. The hearing of the case resumes on 18th April 2019. Henry Okurut, UBC.